well, there's another phrase I like in education called just in time. You ever heard of this with respect to education, just in time education? So many times when you, uh, when you take a math class like algebra, you'll hear something like, okay, so we're going to learn how to factor, we're going to learn how to solve this simultaneous system of two equations, because later on when you're in Math 95 or Math 111s, as soon as you hear that phrase, you probably stop listening a little. Because she's like, why would I learn something now if I want to have to remember it for two terms after? That doesn't make any sense, right? So that's when I realized Equation Boot Camp is dumb. What I can do is I can work Equation Boot Camp inside these lessons. As we need this kind of equation, let's deal with that kind of equation right there, just in that time. If we need a quadratic, we'll get to it when we do the bike experiment outside. Uh, start bringing warm clothes to class. If, if what you wear isn't warm enough to go stand outside, make sure you have like an extra sweatshirt or something. I'm going to have you guys outside a couple times over the next couple weeks. Uh, hopefully. If it snows, maybe we'll rethink it. I can take my bike down the stairs, maybe, instead of that. Nobody would upset with that, right? No, maybe so. so today, today what I want... Oh, that's okay. I can do a read only. I, was, I just added some new pictures to this today. As I, on my, my commute in today. And I was like, oh, this will make it look for class. So, um... Set the mood. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Settle in. <laughs> How how many of you have seen a sign like this in Oregon somewhere? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somewhere. Honestly. Explain it to me. Why do they put that up there? Because there's For trucks. <laughs> Why? Because they got heavy loads. Because they got heavy loads. The brakes burn up. The bra <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> took my son and my mom to Madras this, uh, this summer to the Richardson Rock Ranch to dig for agates. Totally fun. A truck burned up on the little road going into Richardson Rock Ranch. This is like a, a scenario, disaster scenario. Two mile downgrade, about 6%, carrying a truck full of paper towels oh. on a hot August day. I mean, seriously. It's like, give the guy a rosary, maybe he'll get through. It was just, then it jumped, it jumped the road into the, into the weeds. It was crazy. Anyway, yeah, so the trucks burn up the loads. <clears throat> Love it. Good. What else does it mean? <laughs> Slow down. Slow down. Maybe check those brakes beforehand. What are often at the bottom of these? Uh, off -run. Those yeah. runaway yeah. ramps, yeah, yeah, those gravel filled runaway ramps. You ever notice how those always seem to have tire tracks in them? Yeah. Yeah. They see why. I've never seen one used, but they obviously get used quite a bit. I'm thinking, yeah. Uh -huh. Tell me more. What else do you think of when you slow down? I like the slow down idea. This is not a time to test out how fast your Fiat can go. You gotta be careful. When the, tr when the trucks are coming up these grades, how fast are they usually going? Exceptionally slowly, right? Exceptionally. This is where you can pass them usually. When you're going over Mount Hood, for example, you're like, oh god, I need to work from this guy now because he's going to pull the right lane. Good. Yep. What else? Give me some more. Please. It means you can save gas by switching into neutral. Ah, <laughs> very clever. You can switch gas by switching into neutral. Very good. Very good. I never tried that. I used to have a stick shift in it all the time. I never thought about it with an automatic. Downshift? Yeah, or downshift. Mm -hmm. My mechanic taught me not to do that. Huh? My mechanic, for some reason, my mechanic, Chris back in Delaware, he's like, uh, brakes are cheaper than clutches. So he said, burn your brakes out rather than burn your clutch out. I don't know if he's right or not. I mean, I'm, not I'm a bike mechanic. And I know for a fact my bike brakes, which I changed last night, cost three bucks total. And my drivetrain, which I'd have to replace with the cables, would cost at least three times that. Yeah. So to a bike, it works. Uh, not so much of a car. Maybe, I don't know. I saw a hand. I thought, please. You might take a different route. If you can. A truck driver might. Absolutely, yeah, that's true. To avoid this. At the same time, it sure. might, might be faster. Than yeah, it might be faster than trying to. Uh, Especially if these are seven and eight and nine miles long, right? right. Good, good. What's the six percent mean? What's the six percent? It's Josh, right? I gotta start asking names too to learn you guys. Yeah, um, it's like, like the angle. Okay, you're drawing a tilt. I like that. I'm gonna yeah. swing the camera to the side a smidge, try to capture this. The angle. I like the word angle. That makes me happy. And this is 